got friend zone. Like so by so many women. I can't even think of like especially Mills. So I was no, like, I'm, 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 wait, I'm asking you. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead. You said Mills friends on you. <laughs> <laughs> that was an old period that I was around like 17, 18 at the time. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. stop. What's going here. on, everybody? Hey, my name is Andy, and welcome to that one interesting podcast. You dig? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the uh, twenty episode twenty one of that one interesting podcast. And today, episode title is "How to Get Out the Friend Zone." And we had two very special guests with us. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves so I can get to know them better. It's your boy DeAndre back here again. I appreciate Annie for having me. Please follow me on Instagram at m u s s l e underscore. M U S S L E underscore your boy is single looking for a wife. <laughs> DeAndre trying to get out the friend zone right now. So. I'm not in the friend zone. I'm single. <laughs> Ain't no friend zone. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Pierre back at it again. It's also known Pierre. as Coach. Yeah, also known as Coach. Your best man. <laughs> All right. Y'all follow me on Instagram, Pierre the Fresh Prince. Snapchat, Twitter, Pierre the Best Man. And I got a clothing brand on the way, so Ooh. you got a clothing brand on the way. Yeah, what Ooh. is it, ladies and gentlemen? I about to read some brand for y'all, so <laughs> stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. <laughs> all right, all right. How's it going, Pierre? Coach, yeah. it's going good though. Yeah, I'm back at it, school again. So how's school? Is today's your first day at school? Yeah, first day back. You know, my son was brazy, not crazy, yeah. but brazy. Oh, how how right. was it brazy? Like, I don't even want to talk about it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive, huh, Pierre? Yes, yeah, kind of exclusive though. What, do you exclusive. Mean, what you mean exclusive? You can't you can't talk about it on the podcast, bro. See, I was fading in Daytona. Okay. All right, I got high in Alabama. Ooh. Okay, then my summer was just like getting paper all <laughs> all, all the way in the bread. You hear my dog say he got a clothing line coming on. Yeah, <laughs> playing. I'm chasing the bag though. I'm chasing the bag. <laughs> I'm got to get back to the bag. <laughs> So you went, you went to Alabama, uh, Daytona. What else? That's and, uh, it. I went to Vero. It was kind of trash. It was kind of trash. Vero, Vero trash. Beach is trash. Yeah, it was like a couple's beach. I couldn't find no single ladies over there. It was like damn. Oh, you had more. You had more single ladies in um, Daytona. Yeah, Alabama too. Girls were feeling me over there too. <laughs> so you wasn't in the friend zone then, huh? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but what's going on with you, DeAndre? I'm just chilling, man. Glad to be back. Uh, hey, man. Welcome back. Welcome Appreciate back. It. But the topic for today is how to get out the friend zone. Like, have you ever been in a situation where y'all was in the friend zone? Hell no. <laughs> like, for real, for real? Yeah, bro, if you're in a friend zone, that means you didn't start the friendship right. Yeah, like, if you didn't tell her you wanted to pursue her right. Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, when you're trying to get at a girl, bro, if she puts you in a friend zone, that means she either got a nigga or she just don't see you like that. Mm-hmm. And if she got a nigga, if your game ain't good enough to get, get her from that nigga, then you deserve to be in the friend zone. You see what I'm saying? Like, I never mm. had that problem. What about you, Pierre? <laughs> Red Zone King. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Red yeah. Zone had a. Yeah, that was a. That was the old Pierre. Old Pierre got Friend Zone. <laughs> <laughs> that was the old. Tell him about the new Pierre. The new Pierre is talking in the bag, talking <laughs> the cash. <laughs> Lady comes spotting me. I spot them. They spot me. That's Bow Wow verse. So shout out Bow Whistle. You know, <laughs> that's one of the old albums. So oh, <laughs> oh Bow Whistle. So like, have you like from talking about the old Pierre? How did you get friend zone? Long story short, I was having the. It was an average conversation. Mm-hmm. I was like kind of cool and. Neutral at the same time. That's how I got in the friend zone. I started talking to women. Now, I started boosting up. I was like thinking about myself. I was like, damn, I just got friend zone. Like so by so many women, and I can't even think of like especially Mills. So no, like, I'm, 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 wait, I'm asking you. Wait, 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 go ahead, go ahead. He said Mills friend zoned you. <laughs> <laughs> That was an old period that I was around like 17, 18 at the time. Stop, stop, stop. Y'all did not hear that. Y'all did not hear that. 
<laughs> so what's, what's the question, Andy? So our question is for you is um, how was it like? How did you get friends on? I'm talking about from the pers- perspective from the old peer. What did you do that that got you in the friend zone? Yeah, I was kind of like a calm. I was kind of quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was kind of quiet. I didn't know what to do, so I didn't. I was sorry, Friday, so so you didn't know how to talk to the girl. Yeah, basically. So basically, what the Andres say, most likely a person that get friends on is you didn't start the friendship right. Yeah, you didn't tell her what you expect mm-hmm. from the get go. But the Andre, what if if the guy is very shy, mm-hmm. but he's scared of rejection and he talking to the girl, but he don't know how to uh like for say turn the friendship uh. until into what he wanted to be. Okay. Well, I, I honestly believe if you scared of rejection, then you shouldn't talk to girls, bro. Because for girl, real? Nine times out of ten, bro, you're going to get rejected. Yeah, I understand that too. You're going to get rejected simply because you got to approach her the right way. You never know how she's feeling that day. She may think you ugly. She may not think you ugly. Mm-hmm. You may get her to smile at one time, and then now you feel, you know what I'm saying? She feels you. So my best advice on that aspect is to go in just try to be have fun. Try to get her to laugh. Try to make her have like. Try to get her to just be just like happy. the episode, um, coach was yeah. previously how to yeah how to uh, approach a girl yeah which you was crazy. You make gotta be laugh. confident. Yeah, just do your thing, bro. If she say no, on to the next. Yeah, on to the next one. How many you had this year? Over the summer, how many you had, Pierre? Over the summer, that. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre say on the live podcast. I, can't I don't tell know y'all that. <laughs> Who time Pierre was telling me? Coach was telling me. Oh yeah, he ran a football. <laughs> he ran a what? football team. <laughs> he ran a football team. <laughs> I had a whole football team. <laughs> stop, stop. A dude. Stop. No, like playing the women. That's that what it was. Yeah, playing women. Yeah. See, you had a menage, menage quoi. Menage quoi. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, but you said if someone's scared of rejection, they should not have like they shouldn't they shouldn't be talking to a girl. Yeah, because you gotta be able to be comfortable with who you are, bro. Regardless if she accepts you for who you are or not, you still gotta be comfortable. If she says no, I'm not feeling like that. All right, cool. Next, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. But if you really like her, she should definitely know that you really like her. You ain't even been a friend zone. Mm-hmm. I hate when dudes try to be like that best friend role and then try to sneak yeah, in. That's, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. You're yeah, wasting yeah. your time, bro, because she yeah, friends on you. Because because he probably scared of like she might reject Rejected. him. So he took a, the more uh, comfortable approach. Yeah, and that comfortable being comfortable with her ain't gonna get you nowhere. Cause exactly, you a friend. He trying to get in there. Exactly, but what if she have a boyfriend? I'm not gonna. That's not a. That's not a good question to ask because I'm gonna like persuade people to go after girls that have boyfriend and trying to be friends with them. Oh, man, and trying to. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna <laughs> tell crazy. you. I tell all the girls that got that's a boyfriend. Crazy. That's when the girl say I got a boyfriend. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> On top. So what nigga. if what if you had a girlfriend and another guy came up to her and said, "Man, f that nigga." Well, if he did say that, bro, yeah, how would you hit, feel? Now, here's my thing, though. Here's my philosophy. <laughs> I'm really different. So look, yeah, see it both ways. I'm really, I do see it different both ways. So now look, if a dude spit game at my girl, right, and she say fuck, that, if he say fuck that nigga, and he actually get her, he can have her, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because that shows that she didn't really feel me in the first place. Now, if your girlfriend really love you and she he's saying fuck that nigga, bro, she ain't going to still ain't gonna entertain him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's worth a try. That's what you else you gonna do. hmm That's how I feel about that. What about you, Pierre? Man, if what was what's the question? If you're in the friend zone, how would you like, you know? Is it better? Cause cause I asked him about um the relationship thing. Yeah, so like if let's say you're trying to talk to a girl and she told I got a boyfriend, what'd you do? Yeah. I just move on to the next one. That's all I would rather do. Mm. That's understandable too. Yeah, yeah, cause like people who in a like a serious relationship, that's gonna make people just just don't want to like get involved with them. Like, oh, I might be his side dude or like, whatever. <laughs> you might be. You so, might you turn it to- so you might be a side nigga. You comfortable with that? Are you comfortable with being a side dude? I mean, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but you just say if, nah, if she have nah, a if she have a boyfriend, you're just gonna move on. Nah, I'm just playing. But um, nah, you be. You just gotta man. move on. Just there's other other fish in the sea. So all right, yeah, preach, that's true too. Preach, preach, Pierre. But you don't have to go like to a boyfriend or a husband. That's that's just wrong. Yeah, that's different. Husband, I don't. I don't oh yeah, 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 yeah. Married yeah. women's off limits. Married women, they're off limits. Like, yeah, you got to respect that, but. Like if someone like for say if someone listening to this podcast and they're in the friend zone, they've been friend with whoever they feeling for a long period of time. 
what is some step you would tell him or her to take in order for for them to get out that friend zone? Does she have a boyfriend or no? Nah, because they're just friends. They've just been friends for a long time, so but she doesn't have a boyfriend. Bro, you got to tell her, I think you're cute as shit. Let's go get something <laughs> to eat. Don't you think that's like way too aggressive, bro? No, I let her know how you really feel. Like, what do you mean? Because like, last episode with Clyde, Clyde told me she was friends with this girl for a long period of time, but she started feeling him. And the thing is, what creep him out the most she was just moving way too fast don't you think like just go on like that and say oh yeah you cute as hell it's going to date don't you think that's way too fast bro in a way okay I get you don't, you, wrong. don't you think you gotta build it up to a certain point where you can be like yeah well you already built the friendship so you got to break that barrier so you trying to move slow might not you're hurting your time because you don't have time i on mean your like side. it's not moving slow it's just everything to have have to have some certain step that you got to take bro if you if you like basically if you're feeling a girl but you've been friend with her for a long period of time but you don't know how to break that down to her i think there's certain ways there's certain things that you can change that to make her feel like oh yeah i'm starting feeling you even if you don't have to say it but there's certain behavior that you might change when you with her that might make her think oh yeah you know that's not me. Like, <laughs> that's not me. I ain't gonna hear the buck. Cause my last relationship, um, she didn't like me at first. Okay. I, was in a, I, I, I honestly I actually wasn't a friend, friend zone. zone. Okay. I wasn't a friend zone. My last relationship, and um, but I kept on dropping bombs on her, bro. Like I kept on trying to chill with her. I kept on trying, like, hey, let's do this. Hey, let's do that. And she's like, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. But eventually it worked. Cause so, I kept on being persistent and like being bold about it. So you end up getting into a relationship with her. Yeah, and it's probably the best relationship I ever had. So you was um you basically you was you just you was just being persistent. Persistent and bold as fuck. Like she didn't get annoyed about it. No, she was like, Oh my god, but she didn't see me that way. Okay. Like she didn't like she didn't even get that I was trying to talk to her. Uh huh. But I was being bold as fucking obvious. Like everybody else was like, Bro, you don't see this guy trying to talk to you? And then But she, she didn't see it? She didn't see it. What bro. the hell? That's what I said. That's and crazy. And I'm bold. So did you tell her you cute as hell? Let's go on a date, just like you told us. That's <laughs> nah, not what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said now we talking about a real life scenario. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people can talk, but when it comes to real life, it's a whole nother different ball game, man. So what did you say? How did you like break that? Um, bro, I just kept on trying to do things with her, bro. Like her and her friends. Like, I mean, that's a good way too. Like if you've been friend with someone for a long period of time and you're close and you're trying to break that friendship, I feel like the best way. The best way to be to get out the friends on, bro, is basically trying to fill that void that she she been missing and been telling you about what other dudes been doing to her. That's, That's a wrong. rebound, though. That's no, 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 not 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 after she break up. But because if you've been friend with her, she probably she, if you know you're in the friend zone, the girl gonna probably explain to you um what's everything going on and stuff with yeah. the guy, right? So you know her perfectly, <laughs> but you just never filled that void for her that she need in order for you to become. Well, that's different. The man. If you feel in that void because she like has like, okay, I'm missing this. I need that. It'll be easier for you to even move into that situation because you can like, all right, you know it. She told you about the breakup and everything. Like, come here, give that nice little shoulder to cry on. Yeah. And you can get that. That's, I mean, like, I mean, like, bro, there's a way like, you can work your way into it <laughs> without even like, you know, you can feel the void, bro. Like, yeah. for say, I mean, you know, you feel what she need and slowly by slowly, she's going to start feeling you. Yeah. Most likely, so you got a chance. Yeah, you might have a chance to just slide in there, and I'm about to. Die. I don't do well with. The <laughs> <laughs> I don't do well with friend zones, bro. That's not me. I've never been in the friend zone, honestly, man. I think that one time I was in a friend zone my whole life. I think you got the most experience with friend zone, coach. <laughs> but <laughs> coach, coach, damn, damn, damn. But but I never I never been in the friend zone. I honestly, like for say if I put like the thing is. If I talk to a girl for a long period of time, we start talking, she laughing. Yeah, most of them saying? gonna start like feeling yeah. me or a certain type of way, saying like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know her. Even girls that like, girls that um, I don't even like think like. I remember in high school, in high school and stuff. This guy, I didn't even like, she was she was fine, everything. Most every guy wanted her at the school, and she had a boyfriend though. But I was just being me, you know. I talked to her when she she sat by me, right, at, in class. So you was running game on the side. 
Nah, I was not running game. Like honestly, <laughs> honestly, I was not running game. Like, I was, I was just being me and stuff, and just talking, you know. Yeah. And, hey. and I think after she, after she broke up with um with her boyfriend, thinking back now, I was like, damn, I would have. I could have been the rebound, bro. That's what I was thinking, bro. Because <laughs> after she broke up with her man, she was trying to. She was. Shoulder. She was gonna give me. No, she was not. Nah, I, I never had a girl crown my shoulder. To tell you, never. Nah, <laughs> I'm. Not, I never been into that deep, deep friend zone. Nah, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> nah. I, wow, but the man. thing is. The thing is, right after she broke up with the guy, her friend was giving me signal that she liked me and stuff. That's always a good. But team. but after after a couple of weeks, I, it didn't even go that far. But she went back. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so thinking good, back good. now, I was like, man, I was probably the rebound, bro. You Honestly, you didn't. which is crazy. You should have, cause you missed out. <laughs> you missed out on the blessing. That's yeah, crazy. That man. happened the same thing to me, man. So what happened? Tell us the story, coach. So this is what happened. This was at my job, like. Around like a few months ago, it was like right. It was around the, like the spring semester. So this will happen. So I was minding my own business until she was like working with me. So I think she was like a new cashier. I ain't gonna say her name or nothing like that. So so we were just talking. Like I was feeling her and she was feeling me and all that. And then next thing you know, she got a. She was kind of married at the time. She was kind of married. What she, the freak? Kind of. Is kind of married. married. No, she was married at the time. She at was your married. job? I think around then. Yeah, around like a She year. was working with you? Yeah, she was working with me. Go ahead. <laughs> and then um, and then she told me she had a divorce and stuff like that. I'm like, shit. <laughs> and I was like, I can't be your second rebound. Nothing like that. No. I'm trying to avoid it. Oh, I'm, trying not, I'm trying to get you, in trouble. You, you know, was like, trying to avoid it. PLO, you're trying to get that like, stuff. What do you mean you were trying to I avoid been, it? I was spending game to her at the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> you were trying to get so, that stuff, man. So, so wait, you was, spin, you was uh, spending game to her at the time while she was married or after she got at, divorced? At, after she got divorced. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. But why would you spit game at her and you say you was trying, you wasn't, you wasn't trying to get at her? Like, she thought I was like a young, like 15, but I'm actually... Around 18 at the time. Mm-hmm. Cause I had like the baby face and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, after that, it was... I don't even remember. Long That's st- crazy, coach. Yeah, long story short, she was like... She got a new job and stuff like that. She see me every now and then. Oh. yeah. Do you think she got back with the um, her husband? I don't even know, man. That's crazy. So, when you, so when you see her, like, do you trying to still talk to her? Why you don't hit it back up? Yeah. It was in my old did you phone. get? Did you get the number? See, I got a snap, but it was in my old phone. <laughs> it was in my old phone, like my way old phone. Like, That's crazy. That's crazy. Like the 2015 Samsung shit, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was, it's kind of crazy. She gave you a snap. She ain't getting no, but that's crazy. That's how you know girl don't like you for real, bro. Nah, I mean, like some girls be giving you their social media, bro. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, you got to work your way up, bro. It starts somewhere. See, see, I mean, like at a point, at a point back then when I was talking to this girl, I used to like, I used to text her. You remember when we had Kick? Yeah, Kick was yeah. that stuff. That, but Kick is like getting your number though. It, nah, it not is, really. Bro. See, not I really because someone, some, someone can automatically block you on Kick and not respond to your thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so stuff, they can lock. I think they can lock. Their you can thing. lock out. Yeah, they can lock the thing out. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had Kick. I was just not Kick with the trap. The thing is, she give you your social media. She might give you her Snapchat. You talk. Through the Snapchat, then out of nowhere, I don't even think you gotta ask for the number. She just text me, uh, text me in my number. This is my number. Oh, you got like that, Andy? All right, but no. I mean, All right, nah, no. okay, nah, it was not like that, bro. Andy, the didn't thing have to put is, no work in. The, nah, I wasn't. Honestly, bro, I wasn't really trying. Like <laughs> effortlessly, to, huh? No, it's not that, bro. It's just she say something. She told me, oh. I think she she challenged me or something like that. I was like, all right, man, we'll see. Two four weeks later, two like four weeks. I think two months later. Yeah, I don't even think it took me that long. So, dang, my dog smooth. Bro. No, Teach I'm not that way. smooth. Teach me your ways, Andy. What you? So how did you get her, bro? I'm not that smooth, huh? How did you get her? What do you mean? You say you got her Snapchat and stuff. Like, how did you get her to even give you a number, bro? What did you say? I didn't say anything. She just sent Ooh. her her number. I, I mean, sad. if you if you stay consistent and. Keep texting and stuff. I guess you get the number two. Pierre, yeah, yeah, 
Nah, this girl gave me her number though one time. What'd you do with it? I I still doubt it, but I never texted her back. She told me to text me. I'm like, no. Why? You didn't like her? Nah, she was on a savage mode at the time. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you bro? mean, bro? Nah, I had to like I told her like I'm gonna hit you up. Mm-hmm. Next thing, next day or two, I didn't hit her up because yeah, she, yeah. she kept texting me, texting me. I'm like, for real? That's how you gonna do? She got my attention. Mm-hmm. So, so was, you was playing hard to get. Yeah. Why? And you, and you put her in the friend zone. My yeah, dog. I had to do that. Why? Cause she was kind of annoying at the time. Yeah. If, it, if she's annoying, she she coach wanted gonna, you, bro. Yeah. Coach, coach gonna put it, bro. Like coach is not like you, DeAndre. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, <laughs> but no, bro, that make no sense. You say right, right. about how girls put you in the friend zone. You got a girl that want to talk to you and give you time with. What if you didn't feel her? <laughs> like, what if she didn't feel? Bro, she was feeling me though. I ain't gonna. But lie. you wasn't <laughs> feeling her. Was you feeling her, bro? Not, not really. Okay, not really. okay, that makes. So sense. you put her in the friend zone. Yeah, I had to, man. <laughs> I had, to, I had to block her on social media, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of annoying. Oh god, I don't know why. Yeah, because I was talking to a girl back in the day, so it was it was nothing so, like that. So wait, wait, yeah, yeah. You talking about you talking about when you talking on this podcast? You talking like you have like yeah, four hundred, yeah, bro. Yeah. So what if somebody away. listened to this podcast and they're trying to talk to you? And be like, oh yeah, this, if the, is that the type of guy you is now? You talking to like several females? You a player now? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean? Using Daytona that's, getting that's faded, crazy, real man. getting faded. <laughs> that was last to me. summer, man. That was last summer. You talking about this summer, yeah, bro? Yeah, that was this summer. That was this summer. What you, you said? You just say last summer, bro? What, nah, what, last summer what I you didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> you missing the story up. <laughs> that was crazy. That's crazy. All right. But you didn't like. What would you say, Pierre, Coach? What would you say if someone's stuck in friend zone right now? Like I asked DeAndre earlier, how would you tell them? What's the best way to get out the friend zone? I tell them like this. You just got to stop talking to them or cut them off for at least five or six months. Five or six <laughs> What? <laughs> or, or, listen up, listen up, or. Five or six months? By that time, when you should find somebody else? But you ain't going to be a friend no more. Yeah. <laughs> you going to be a stranger. It happens. It happens. Stranger. Now, yeah. it's just going to be like, or you could just get somebody that's prettier than her. Oh. <laughs> like, let's say an Instagram model or what? How you gonna how, wait, 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 pause, pause. <laughs> so how you gonna do that? Explain to me how you gonna get an Instagram tell them how you gonna get an Instagram mat- model. I mean, if she go to a club or whatever, like a bar or, yeah. or whatnot, just gotta go ahead. Just gotta speak your game. You gotta shoot your shot, you know? Just gotta like I said. What if what if the Instagram model is looking for a guy that have a lot of money? Like a lot of money. Yeah. That's coach. You know, coach got the bread. Yeah. I know, but nah, he he right now he's explaining to somebody else okay. how to get out the friend zone. How to get out of friend what zone. What if he wanna go get an Instagram model, but the Instagram model wants you to have a lot of money and stuff to get her? I mean, you just gotta work hard. Just like get a lot of hours or get a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, money nigga. <laughs> Or candy money, or sell some stuff. Like <laughs> if you got something old, just get rid of it or sell it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you know exactly how long that's gonna take somebody to do that. Bro, that you, you, think, you think it's that easy for them? To it's, get not, it? it's not even that easy, man. So, so you tell them somebody else. In order for them to get out the friend zone, they need to go out there and get an Instagram model, <laughs> <laughs> or just focus on themselves, or or just focus on themselves. That's what they got to do. What do you mean focus on focus on themselves? Like, like if they fo- focus on themselves, the you're girl be might in the friend be. Zone. Yeah. Well, I know what I get. What you're saying, I get what he's saying. I get. I, I think I get what Coach saying. Go Thank ahead. you, Coach. Like, so let's say like you're in the friend zone, right? And you're working on yourself, yeah. like you building your brand. But like my dog, Coach over here got a clothing line coming up, bro. You know mm-hmm. how many girls gonna be wanting him though? What's your clothing line called? I haven't thought about it. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be like some. It's like a uh, best man, best man uh, product. All right, but go ahead, Andre. Something like that. Like, see, like coach right here. My coach over here building himself up, bro. I remember last year Pierre didn't have no chain. 
Pierre didn't have the confidence and swag that he has right now. Pierre built himself up. That's why he they toned again all the girls, bro. That's crazy. That's man. what you gotta do. You gotta build yourself up. Once you build yourself up, bro, you're gonna be out the friends on. She's like, Oh my gosh, coach, I haven't seen that's, you that's so true, long. Though. That's you know true. what I'm saying? And she'll be all hype and then your dick and then you get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm in all along. <laughs> <laughs> You know he lying. <laughs> you know he lying. <laughs> nah. Pierre, Pierre said you gotta go out there and get your Instagram model so you can flex a new Instagram model. That Instagram model, how you oh, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That is crazy, man. What you say? Go ahead, Pierre. What you? Nah, what, you, what I meant to say was you just gotta save your money. That's all you gotta do. You save like, your money. Yeah, don't don't let no girl like buy you out or something like that. Don't do that. Who, who what like like there's no girl that's gonna buy you out come on don't like no nah, i'm not saying like that but just don't waste your money on a girl that you really want to try to get mm-hmm. that's that's kind of lame and then next thing you know you're gonna end up being broke that's kind of like getting being in the friend zone just don't be being broke don't be broke bro some girls be really using these dudes in the friend zone bro exactly i, I bro. know a girl i got a dude say it on his phone that's free food oh man <laughs> They're just trying to use uh, guys as their, <laughs> as their product. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever felt, have you, like, do you think throughout your um, journey and stuff, your um, your goal journey on getting females, do you think you haven't been used, like, have somebody used you before? No, I never, I never been used. That's, do you that's, think that, like, have you, like, have you ever buy some girls, um, Jewelry, food, and any type of stuff like that. That was. You I, never did that before. I did that one time. It was like back in middle school. Oh, middle school. No, <laughs> you just been talking about middle, middle school. school but, uh, so I did that before. I did that before. So what the time you went on a date? Last time I went on a date, it was around. Val- it was around. Naive. It was at my sister's birthday party. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, cause this is real. It was at a Christmas party. I bought her something. So, oh, you went on a date with her at a Christmas party. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But bad. DeAndre, have you feel, ever felt being like used before? I did once, bro. How was like? How did you figure that out? Like, bro, it was just how she like the the day went. So like, I took her bowling, bro, and like mm-hmm. we went bowling that day, and it was really good. Like, so I was like, all right, cool, we want to get something to eat. She's like, hey, let's go get something to eat. Yeah. We went so we get, went to Floridino's or whatever and got something to eat, bro. And while we were there. Like she ordered and she didn't say nothing else. She just ate. She just ate. Wow, <laughs> that's she crazy. She ate, didn't say nothing, drank, and was ready to go. Now, if I was you, I would have said, "Excuse me, I'm about to use the restroom real quick." I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I'm about to use the restroom real quick." Nah. Let me get my key. I'm about to use the restroom real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> I was done. That was the one time I did not talk to her ever again. I was like, "Yeah, okay, you got me." One was time. she like those those bougie type of girl? No, she wasn't even bougie, bro. Like she was just. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't expect it, but it, I got I got fan dingle one time in my life. It never that's, happened. That's again. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, no. <laughs> Pierre, bro, I feel like you capping, bro. I know you've been used. I ain't capping. I ain't, <laughs> nah, I, nah, I'm not capping though. I'm not capping. So no how cap. was that last date? Like, what? How did it go? That shit was trash, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> well, I was trash. Yeah, that was the worst. Wow, that was the worst thing crazy. I ever did. I bought. I saved up money for that. Mm-hmm. And I would say it was in my stash money. I didn't know. <laughs> and next thing you know, I was like, "Fuck, what I just did." So you used all that money for her? Yeah, that was that was one time. That was one mistake I never could forget, man. How much? It was around like thirty six. <laughs> thirty cents. Thirty six dollars, bro. <laughs> you complain about thirty six dollars? And you want an Instagram model? <laughs> <laughs> what, man? <laughs> <laughs> Next subject, man. Next subject. <laughs> oh my god. Let's move on, though. Let's move on. Let's coach, move on. Coach. <laughs> no, you what? said. You said. You said thirty six dollars. You said. You said he said thirty six dollars. <laughs> In his stash, right? <laughs> In his stash. That is crazy, coach. So what did you buy her? It was some type of necklace. It was at a pawn shop. I bought a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> it was like one of them necklaces. The, the Rule 21 necklace, man. I stop, stop. It was that Rule 21, man. Stop. Stop. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 I'm dying, man. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, oh coach. Oh my gosh. Coach, Yo, wow. coach. Like, bro. <laughs> this is what I say. In order for you to get out the fridge or you out there, go get you an Instagram model <laughs> at the club over there and spend some money on her. That's crazy, man. So how did she feel about the necklace? I mean, she was excited though. I didn't. I didn't even know. What yep. What made you say that the date was trash though? Like it was. It was kind of trash though. I ain't gonna lie, but it was like I didn't want to like feel bothered. You know, mm-hmm. like there was like girls all feeling me at the party, and she didn't <laughs> like it. Hey, <laughs> you got too many, Pierre. Come on, yeah, come. I got too many, man. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I got too many, man. That was I was kind of the one of the calm player dudes though back in the day. So what you mean now? Yeah, I'm hype player dude now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So you basically saying So what you what you saying is this man went on a date for Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. Christmas party. Christmas party. At his sister's house. At your sister's house. On a date. Mm-hmm. The the reason the date was bad is because a lot of girl at the party was feeling you yep. and she didn't like it. And you went out there and get thirty six dollars from your stash <laughs> <laughs> and get her a necklace. Got out your the life party. savings out <laughs> to buy her this necklace <laughs> at this pawn shop for her. <laughs> now, how would you think she will feel if she hear this podcast after she hear this podcast? I feel devastated. Now, how you, how would you think she feel? How she, think she feel? feel? How would I don't even know, man. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, she gonna have a conversation with me after this. <laughs> so you still talk to her? So you still talk to her? Nah, I had to cut her off, man. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. What she do? Man, I ain't want to tell you. <laughs> so, so basically, um, I know like we talk about how to get out the friend zone. Yeah. The thing of man, like we didn't really like. Clear. Did you say like because we we were talking about um filling the void and stuff? Mm-hmm. You didn't agree with that. I in a way, um, if you do fill in the void, that is a good way to get out the friend zone. But if you're really deep in the friend zone, you can always. I think a good thing to do is ask one of her friends to put you on. You think so? Yeah, bro. Because her friend has insight if you if she likes you or not. You know what I'm saying? Like her friend normally knows who she's feeling, who she's not feeling. So that if you true. make it known in front of your her friend that you want her, and then you tell your her friend to like put you on, like you should be closer. Like is she feeling you or not feeling you? Do you think like if you start flirting with her in a certain way that that can help flirting? Yeah. If you start flirting with her in the same way, you don't look at her the same mm. way anymore. Mm, yeah. You kind of smile when you see her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. put the game down, and you know, like when you flirt, you like. I don't know how to explain it, but, you know, flirting and stuff like that and laughing and touching. Like, you know, there's certain clues that you can give somebody that you tell, that should automatically tell them that you're feeling them and stuff like that. Yeah. What yeah, about, sound like a pro, huh? Nah. <laughs> what about, like, if you, like, I would say um, texting. I'm terrible at texting, so I can't. The way, you can change the way you text her. That's true. If you never text her in the morning, you can ask her how she doing, how her day's going. No, that good morning, that good morning text with an emoji. Yeah, the good morning is too aggressive. If you just started to text For her, real? yeah, that's yeah, because if you say good morning, that automatically put you in the position like, oh yeah, I'm trying to pursue this girl. That's how that too strong then. Because like, if you never text a good morning, yeah, you, I think so. I, I don't know. You gotta break barriers, bro. You can't break a barrier. You don't knocking light, but you better kick that bill open. I mean, like, if you text, I don't know, like, if you text good morning. You think that's not that's not like aggressive? I do that all the time. I'm single. That's what oh, I'm and you text good morning. How you doing? Good morning. That's I'll, I'll rather text. I'll rather text in the middle of the day. If I'm gonna start texting her, I'll st- text her out of nowhere in the middle of the day. How's your day going? Mm, that's oh, how you doing and stuff like that. What's hey, going on? Coach, take notes. What's <laughs> going on? Like <laughs> take notes. in the middle of the day and text stuff like that. In the middle of the day. Got it. <laughs> Hold on, let me write this down. <laughs> And you got the notes. So if I if I was saying like yeah texting, and probably find a way to get her to like you, and see you in a different way, bro. If you can't get her to smile, bro, you can't get her to laugh. Then I don't think you 
You still yeah. in friend zone. Yeah, I don't think she. I don't think she interested in you. She, At she, all. Cause like, you just gotta play your your ways to get that. But like, you don't want to be like some dude being the friend zone. Just be like, uh, not even smiling or <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah, she just don't feel you, bro. Yeah. This guy. But I think like if you work your way in and talk to her and you know. Like I say, I'm very strong on that filling the void type of thing. If you can fill that void that she's been missing and she, if you can fill the void that she looks, that she's looking for in a guy and you feel that nicely and you talk to her in a certain way and, you know, you treat her different, you start treating her different. You make her feel more comfortable with you in a different type of way. Maybe you have, you might have yeah, a chance, chance on changing her mind and seeing you different. That's You're like, true. damn, maybe he's the guy I've been looking for and he's right there next to me. I mean, that's <laughs> a lot true. of time, that's a, no lot of time the guy. a lot of time it happens like that. Some of them guys be next to them, but they never seen it and they're out here running around. I'm just <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> running around and getting the wrong guy all along. The guy that was mm -hmm. meant for you was right next to you, right there. Stupid. I mean, I wouldn't say that. That's stupid, bro. You you look you are looking at guy that's right next to you. Like you looking at you looking. I mean, what she what if she um she really um like the friendship? Because sometimes when you go, I don't know in your case. Yeah, but we had a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when you break that friendship, you can't never go back to that same friendship you had before your inter relationship. What if she valued that friendship so much that she's scared if you get into a relationship with you and it don't work out? Bam, y'all can't be friends no more. Man, I'm friends with all my exes. I know you do. I, I don't actually know how wanted you... to call one up, bro. Hold on. Awesome. I wanted to call one up one day. Yeah. And actually, like, talk to him on a podcast. Yeah. I definitely did. Let me see. I'm going to try to call her and see if she can hit up right now. Oh, you, you trying to talk to her yeah, right I'm now? I'm going to see. We all are right. still friends. Go ahead. Y'all can talk, though. So, the Andre is finna. Hit up one of his ex friends. Friend, how many are you gonna hit up? Just one? Oh, you trying one? Yeah. So you got like a five life um trying I'm after five. All my exes. <laughs> so I all right, I like give you one. ten now. Since you say all of them, I give you ten. <laughs> I just talked to other bro. She got a nigga, bro. Uh -huh. She got a she, she got, got a man. Boyfriend. She got a boyfriend now. And like <clears> her boyfriend, um, her boy, she said her boyfriend kind of crazy and she about to move. And she was like, don't get me in trouble with my nigga. But hit me up when you want to do your podcast. For that podcast. I'm trying to find her shit, but I can't find it. I can call another ex, though. I think she'd be pretty cool. And we're going to talk about how we were, um, how we stay friends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. I, I know she'll answer. It's, yeah, but that's kind of tough, though, bro. Tell me about it. Her nigga made me block me off on Instagram. I can't I all right, all right. So let me cut. I'm blue, bro. So you didn't find her? Bro, her man blocked me. All right, so. You gonna start back up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm gonna still look for it though. I'm let you know. All right, so the Andre was trying to call one of his ex friends, ex, aka also his friend, best friend or just friend? No, nah, just friend. Never oh. best friend. Never best friend. <laughs> nah, nothing like that. I don't do that. Oh baby, you. <laughs> You got what I need. Hey, what you say? We just a friend. Hey, what you say? We just a friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's uh -huh. the that's the good song. That's a good song for this episode. For real. That's crazy, Oof. man. Hold on. But hello. Hey, where you at? You at the hospital? Yeah. Can you do me? I need. Um, I'm on a podcast, right? And they want to know how we're not together and we're still friends. Yeah. Can you, we, we're we're going to have this conversation. All right. I'm going to plug. Will she be able to hear us or no? Uh, she can't hear us from the phone. But she can't hear us. All nah, right, so, but we can't hear her. All right. So I'm going to plug you up into the speaker so you're going to be on the podcast. Okay. We're going to talk about this. All right. All right. What are you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Juice. Hello? Juice. Yeah. yeah, you there? 
Uh, she hung up. Yeah, she'll come back. Yeah. She'll come Just back. Just put put the volume loud. Loud on the phone. Yeah, put the volume loud and you hold it next to you so you can talk. Oh, I gotta talk into the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You have reached the voice mailbox Two, of. Five. Hey, but anyway, the the Andrew was trying to reach her out, but she didn't pick up, so. All right, before we end our episode, we usually do a segment called Something Interesting. So today, Something Interesting is going to be a story that I found on Spiritual World. And let me know if you think that he should still keep her in the friend zone, like away from him or get in, get back with, with her. So basically, the story was that my ex broke up with me about two years ago because she developed feelings for another guy recently. Recently contact, contacted me wanting to see me. We had not spoken for almost a year and a half. We started talking and she confessed to me that she still loved me. Even though I found out she was involved with a married guy, even though, even though she assured me she, she ended the affair. I'm crazy about this woman and she's, she's the one who I most must say makes my heart skip a beat. Man, this, this article missed some. People. Comma yeah. and everything. So I was just like overreading it. Yeah, just keep a bit. Hairs on my body stand every time I hear her name, let, let alone see her. But there is a, here is my predicament. Recently, we got, we got to talking and she also confessed she has a few. She wasn't a few months. She was a few months pregnant. The guy responsible is not in the picture and it's not married to the guy. And it is not the married guy. She wanted she wanted me to be with her and help her raise the kid as my own. I honestly love this woman, but I can't see myself raising another man child. Mm. I feel like a sucker, but I also don't want to let her go. Could this work? Give me some advice like you would give some, your son, brother, and cousin. So basically, she broke up her, with her with her ex and for about two years, she never um, talked to her, and she came back. She came back pregnant with another guy, baby, and telling him that she still want him. So he basically asking, do you think it's a good, because he really love her. Do you think that's a good idea that he should go back to her? I mean, um, it's kind of confusing. How's that confusing, Pierre? She cheated on him with a married guy. <laughs> it's not confusing. Yeah. It's she, che- she cheated on him with a married guy. Mm-hmm. After that, came back two years later pregnant, telling him that she still loved him. And the guy that got her pregnant is not on her. Oh. It's not in her life anymore. Do you think it's a good idea for her to go back to to that guy? The one who just got cheated on. No, do you think it's a good idea? Oh, for, for the, him to go back to, to take, her. Yeah, take to her take back. her back. I mean, my bad. I mean, they gotta work it out. You think they should work it out? Yeah. All right. Like, let me ask you that for your scenario. You you was in a relationship with a girl, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she cheated on you, right? She cheated on you, right? Yeah, with a corny ass dude. Nah, they <laughs> say she cheated on you, right? So she cheated on you, and two years. She come back to you and she say, oh, I still love you. You know, I still have feelings for you. But you didn't know anything. She finally tell you, oh, yeah, I was pregnant. I'm pregnant. But the guy that she's pregnant for, it's not in her life. Oh. Would you take her back? Because she, she says she wants you now. Would you take her back? You said they can work it out. I'm asking you, would you take her back? <laughs> I mean, I, I probably would. I probably would. You would? Yeah, if she... It, had, you would, even though she's pregnant with another guy. Yeah, another like, guy, baby. I'm going to raise that kid like my own. Oh, I feel that. that's true. That's what yeah. I was thinking. 
I mean, after she cheated on you, after she just came back. Like, it is really is a messed up situation because, like, bro, if she's pregnant now, that means like how 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 much how much how, how long is she pregnant? Like, is it like you can't I don't see? Know. Can you show? I don't you know. know what I'm saying, but, but either way, all right, she's been going for two two years, right? That first year, she was getting dick down the whole time. Probably and now she's pregnant, and now she's coming back to you. To you. So that means because you're the good guy now. Yeah, you're the good guy. Obviously, I mean, the man that she was cheating on you with wasn't shit. Like, he yeah, probably yeah. had his ducks in order. He probably wasn't successful. But it's a it's a fucked up situation because she shouldn't do you like that. But if you, I really, feel like she's trying to use him. I do too, but in a way, but it I think be she's a still, yeah, she still love him. But now she messed up so bad that she trying to cover it up. She don't want to end up that girl that raised a single um child yeah. by herself. She's mm-hmm. scared of that. Mm-hmm. What's the best thing to do when you know somebody that you know that used to give you everything that love you so much that you know that love you so much that still have feelings for you? Mm-hmm. Apparently. If she didn't know you was feeling her that much, I don't think she'll come back at you and call you and talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, she don't have no option. <laughs> <laughs> She's stuck in the <laughs> Yeah. She don't have that option anymore. So guess what? Let me go back to that person, you know, that tolerated me in the first place. Mm-hmm. Maybe that would make my life easier. Mm. But Pierre said he would take her back. So kudos to you, coach. High five. <laughs> <laughs> we take it back, Andy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just let you know that. You- I mean, like you, you can never tell. Like somebody, if someone, if I mean, if she's feeling, if he's really feeling her, you know. If, yeah. He he, I might. mean, the thing is, don't let your feelings like detect certain choice that you should not make. Mm-hmm. Like at least use your head, use your brain. Don't just go into things because you feel some type of way. Because people stay in. Abusive relationship Why? Because they still love the person that they with But the relationship is not good But they still yeah. have a good feeling They still have that connection with them mm-hmm. That's why most of them don't usually get out that type of relationship Yeah, It gets so toxic when they're in a relationship That's just like People just go to a relationship They're just rushing into things Next thing you know they end up fighting And cursing people out Call the police for no reason, just like yeah, that's abusive relationship. Yeah, that's basically a abusive relationship, and yeah. most, most girls these days they can't get out of the relationship, and then like, I mean, it's because they feeling that person yeah, so, they much. They yeah. so much, yeah, and it's hard to at least I, I would say like disconnect and trying to move on, but like I was saying, like you know, do not like if you're in an abusive relationship and it's not doing you any good, yo, there's a lot of there's a lot of good other there's a lot of option out there that you can pursue and that could make your life way easier that you didn't expect yeah for it to get yeah but, yeah what you were saying coach yeah it gets so crazy how like most people like girls gonna call the cops on them and next thing you know they say oh he trying to hit me or, and he trying to rape me but, this and that they trying yeah. to lie on him and then next thing you know he ends up in jail like in Year, two months, or whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it gets real crazy, though. Know? But, but to summarize everything up, Coach say, um, for you to get out that friend zone, you need to get your money up, get overtime, work full time, and go to the club and find you a model <laughs> <laughs> and show it off to her. You know, you never that that can work out, bro. It might sound crazy, no. yeah. but it can, bro. <laughs> and you never know, like no you, strippers gonna but play no, you. No, bro. no, let's no, like for say if it worked that right, you never think that for say if you're in a friend zone, mm-hmm. but the girl never see you that way. Okay. But you know how some girls started feeling you just because they see other girls like, okay, started liking you. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. If you get somebody that looks super good, and and you was in the friend zone with her. Don't you think she might feel some type of way? Be like, damn, why didn't I see anything in him? What make like what did he do to make her yeah, yeah. see something? Yeah, yeah you know, I coach, coach. I mean, like, yeah. coach said some stuff, but they, they might work, bro. Yeah, I did that one time. <laughs> <laughs> you was not fucking on Instagram. I was <laughs> <see your> ass. <laughs> nah, I, I found a girl that's uh that's out of her, just out of my league. Now I'm trying yeah. to make her jealous though. I ain't gonna say her name though. Did she get jealous? Yeah, she got jealous though. So it worked? Yeah, it did work. Yeah. I stopped talking to her though. <laughs> like, Dang, bro, how many girls you be talking man, to? This man yeah. stopped talking to everybody, bro. He got so many, bro. Why not? That's crazy. But anyway, bro, thank you for coming to that. Um, you I have some something? things? Go ahead. Yeah, shout out to uh, I ain't gonna say her name, but we still cool at the same time. But <laughs> the, D, the DIA, her name is Dia. She 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 put me in friend zone, so I cut her off. So. <laughs>
Oh my god. I'm sorry. I just I'd say that out, man. All right, all right, bro. I like to thank you for coming to the um for this episode. How to get out the friend zone. Hopefully, everybody learned something today. They should from that one interesting podcast. podcast. But yeah, so hopefully you'll learn something and learn how to get out the friend zone. Just don't spend your money too much on some Instagram Especially model. thirty six dollars. Yeah. So. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully uh, I'm over that, man. Yeah. So, you know, share the episode out, tell your friends, hopefully you'll enjoy this and we out.